Hi, I'm Lizzie. We're aware there's an ever-growing skills shortage in the STEM sector, but especially for females. Why is this? Why is this happening? And what's the consequence of this? We would like to know, and hopefully, by the end of this film, we shall find out. George's Market to ask the public what they understand about STEM. Not, qu I'm not quite sure if I've heard it before. Is it the science technology? Um, like STEM cell research, that's all I know. <laughs> I wouldn't know at all. We're still now with STEM cells that they're using now in medicine. But what is STEM? STEM. Science, technology, engineering and mathematics. Northern Ireland, men outnumber women by 3 to 1 in STEM sectors. Only 13% of board of directors for STEM businesses are women. Only 1.4% of construction apprenticeships are taken by women. Is there a glass ceiling in STEM? 53% of our population is female. Clearly something doesn't add up. We are here at the Northern Ireland Science Park to hear from Joanne Stewart, Director of Development. And um, when if you look back 100 years ago, Northern Ireland were leading the world in innovation, in engineering excellence, in invention. Um, and I think we lost some of that as we went through the troubles. But now coming out, um, you know, through the through peace, uh, we're starting to see a really exciting and dynamic uh, sector developing. You know, with innovative companies. Now what we need to do is engage with the schools to ensure that uh, careers are also um, showing these opportunities, uh, particularly to uh, women. We are at Belfast City Hall to ask members of the public what they know about STEM subjects. And if I was to ask you right now in your head to imagine an engineer, just a yes. general picture of an engineer, can you give a description of this person? Um, the one that immediately springs to mind is my daughter, who is an engineer. <laughs> So you would typically describe an engineer as a male? Yeah. Would you find it uncommon to see a female engineer? Yeah. Yeah. Strong vocal person who would put their point across. It could be anybody. I can't think of any female engineers. I don't know, I'd think of my auntie because she is a civil <laughs> engineer, so... Let's visit Naomi Long, former engineer and previous Lord Mayor, also current MP for East Belfast. My dad died when I was about 10 years old and so I took on a lot of stuff around the house that probably would have been seen to be kind of male jobs. I fitted carpet and decorated rooms and did DIY and I was kind of interested in how things worked. And my first ever work experience was actually in Harlem Wolf um, in the apprentices workshop. And when I decided I was going to go to university, um, I did my research and decided I wanted to be a civil engineer and uh, probably wouldn't have left engineering if it hadn't been for the fact that I ended up in politics. Would you take a job in the STEM industry? I suppose if something came up, I would have meant see Yeah, all, I, I do four STEM subjects. I'd probably take on math and science as a future career. No. <laughs> no. Have you had an interest in any of these subjects? No. No. Here we are at oil and gas company Slumberger to meet STEM ambassador Joyce Atchison. Been working in Slumberger for two and a half years as a manufacturing engineer. Belfast employs approximately 150 people. At the moment, there are two ladies working as engineers. We have two machinists, two operators out in the machine shop who are female. One thing which I have noticed, which is almost sweet, is when someone swears and uh, some of the older gentlemen will apologize to me. I don't think I've ever been hindered or being treated negatively for being a woman no more than being treated extra positively. Now for some words from our very own Lord Mayor, Nicola Mallon. If we were to ask you to inspire young women with a call to action, what would you say? My call to action would be to have self-belief and to have confidence. You have so much to offer, you just only need to believe in yourself first. Well ladies and gentlemen, our evidence supports the view that a proactive approach needs to be taken in order to encourage female participation in STEM industries. All influencers in society need to collectively work together to address this gender imbalance. It's time to make a change. Are you ready?